Franklin, we have an amazing entrepreneur who's raising awareness and creating inclusion uh, in the wine industry uh, for women and people of color, winemakers. And uh, I can't wait. She's going to be opening up a new shop in downtown Oakland. Um, so we're going to welcome Alicia Kidd. Alicia Kidd, we're so happy to have you on today. Um, so yes, we're so happy to have you on. Hello, Miss Alicia. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Food Funded Community to the Coco Noir Wine Shop and Bar presentation. We're bringing diversity, community, and culture to the local Oakland wine, food, and tech community. My name is Alicia Kidd, and I am one of the co-founders and co-owners of Coco Noir Wine Shop and Bar. I bring five years of wine entrepreneur and wine industry experience. I also work with women winemakers and winemakers of color and I also provide diversity and inclusion consulting to major wine companies and food companies. Also, Coco Noir is, also has a founder, a co-founder. Her name is Madi Kemp. She's also one of my close, close friends, and she is an amazing partner. She brings 20 years of diverse business experience. She's a technologist. She has human resource and diversity and inclusion experience, and she's a serial entrepreneur and investor. And together, our, our founding team we are the future of the wine and um, food industry in Oakland, California. So why Coco Noir? Why are we establishing Coco Noir in downtown Oakland? Our why comes from my love for, for wine. With, within the past five to 10 years, there has been a growing boom of women and minority winemakers, as well as a thriving um, boom of black chefs, women chefs, and chefs of color. So with that being said, the gaps that I've noticed um, is that there is no retail platform for our winemakers, women winemakers and winemakers of color. And there's also not really a platform, a retail platform for our chefs. So we created, Madi and I have created um, Coco Noir Wine Shop and Bar to bridge the two worlds together. So we will offer women winemakers and winemakers of color a retail platform. And we will also um, work with chefs, local chefs in the community to um, give them exposure to the local um, Bay Area audience. Our location is, as you see here, is in the downtown Oakland area on 13th and Webster. We are located in a landmark area in downtown Oakland called the Black Arts movement and business district. So we are bringing culture and community to the local wine and food economy. We're gonna be one of the first organizations or one of the first restaurants or establishments that will, have, will reverse engineer wine by having a majority women owned, minority owned wine portfolio, as well as we will partner with women chefs and minority chefs in the community to offer a great experience. Also our location, as you see, is gonna be located in an amazing high rise new apartment complex in downtown Oakland. So we will already have access to built-in customer network um, that will be up to 1,000 um, tenants. What's unique about Coco Noir Wine Shop and Bar is our partnerships. What is gonna separate us from any wine shop and eatery is that we are going to have a collaborative model with our partners. To find the best wines, we're gonna partner with diverse and inclusive wine organizations to help us find women and minority winemakers, such as the African-American Vintners Association, the Mexican-American um, Vintners, as well as uh, Women in Wine um, Association, to help us hire the best talent of women and people of color, and also to groom future sommeliers and future chefs and future individuals in the wine industry. We're gonna partner with Restaurant Opportunity Centers organization. And then we're also gonna partner with local food um, and chef associations of color to make sure that we're hiring the right talent. And then also staying in the know to help us run a robust business. We're gonna partner with wine industry trade association. So we're making sure that Coco Noir Wine Shop and Bar is going to operate um, and stay current with the time. So we have an integrated partnership alliance that's like no other and um, that separates us from any wine shop um, eatery as well as social gathering place. Also a unique offering with Coco Noir is that we have a integrated business model that is like no other. 
All the other wine shops do not have this. No other eatery has what we have. Number one, as I mentioned, we will be the first wine shop, eatery, bottle shop, and social gathering place that will have a majority women portfolio and minority um, winemaker portfolio partnered with local um, chefs and of color and women that will curate the amazing coppice dishes. Um, but our integrated motto consists of on-premise sales for wine and food. We will also have exclusive tastings. We will have wine clubs. We will have private events. But what is going to separate us is our technology platform. So we're going to have a robust e-commerce shop that will house all of our products, food and wine. And then we will also be the first um, wine shop to have our own mobile app that will allow us to have access to our customers immediately where they can download our wines, they can learn about wines, they can also order food, they can order wines. We also will have a local delivery um, partnerships. And then finally, since I am an owner of a wine company already, a wine distribution, Coco Noir will have their own built-in um, distribution warehouse and wine sourcing. In, in closing, Coco Noir is scheduled to open in March of 2021. We've already secured our lease. As I mentioned, we are located on 13th and Webster in the Black Arts Movement and Business District. Um, we will start construction later in the month. We have partnered with the amazing platform of WeFunder and we have went live with our campaign on September 8th and we have raised 67,000 thus far. We were featured in the SF Chronicle as one of the emerging new wine businesses to come to add diversity and inclusion as one of the first multicultural um, women-owned and women of color wine shop and eatery. So what we are offering our community is that we're extending the opportunity for our community to partner by investing in us to help us see our, to see our vision of Coco Noir opening up in March of next year. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful story, Miss Alicia, and I can't wait to see your beautiful space. Um, it's such a I know the I know the challenges of being an entrepreneur, starting a, a restaurant, wine and wine model. Um, that's definitely no light task. So we welcome on our, our panelists. I'll go first. I'm Kristen, and um, I'm from Oakland, and I'm so thrilled to hear about this business model. I've been hearing about you for a while. To see you live in in our stage is really really exciting. Um, you have that buzz happening downtown will be so interesting and i'm just curious um what does it mean during COVID times to be thinking of launching a um a business model that involves a place based you know i am hearing that there's an app version that's going to be you know an extension of this but of course we love local uh people of color and women owned wine and chocolate so i'm with you there i'm just curious about what does it mean to be doing this during COVID times in this space Great question. So I think it's smart that we are opening up a flagship location because of the type of wines that we are selling. Um, a lot of women with the growth of women and minority wine um, being, you know, new winemakers emerging, they rarely have a retail platform. So with our network and our buzz, we're giving them that opportunity, number one. Number two, we have, um, we have both where we can operate hybrid in our business model our integrated business model is that we can operate online as well as in store so we'll have all of our portfolio online as well as where you can order food online as well as on the downloadable app so we can and then we also have outdoor seating as well so we're able to operate in both um in both scenarios in a COVID scenario as well as if we have to operate in a hybrid model so um, it is definitely needed to have a flagship store as well as a tech influ a tech app and a tech platform to support that. Thank you. Thanks, Alicia. I would continue Kristen's question and um, really less of a question, more of an insight. I have friends and family in the wine space too, mm -hmm. finding weird uh, si similarities with lots of our presenters today. Um, but Definitely, even if you don't end up having a high tech opportunity, that having a um, having the wine club is an excellent high margin side of the business. So highly encourage building your following in that way. 
and growing those elements while we're in such an unclear revenue um, environment. So thank you for your work. Thank you.